This video begins with the father of the modern treasure hunter. And the father of the modern treasure hunter, I would say, would have to go to Carl von Mueller. An American treasure hunter, famous for his Treasure Hunters Manual 7, famous for his store in Colorado, famous for his Treasure Hunters 5 and 6, famous for his, all his advice, and famous for showing the common man that he could become great through treasure hunting. So it's a great book full of wisdom and advice. Um, and mystery as well. Well, it has a map in it, which is the source of its mystery. Here, I'll show you. Yeah, there's a map in it. And this uh, map that I speak of is the famous Lou treasure map. Which you see right here, which is an encoded treasure map made up of symbols. Some think it has a Spanish origin, some think it has a Masonic origin, some think it has a Nazi origin. I thought that at one time, I don't think that anymore, but I really like the idea. Some think it has a Jesuit origin. Anyway, the true source of the Lou map is a mystery. And how it came into Carl von Mueller's hands is it came in through his. Uh, a friend of his and partner in crime, um, Hard Rock Hammond, who got access to this map from a, somebody who, the original owner, he showed it to him, he showed it to Carl, he copied it, whatnot. Carl cracked the map, got to several loot targets, um, found several caches, and actually, the cache I'm referring to here, of, of our interest today, is the... Well, they call it the Treasure of the Valley of Secrets. And most would agree that Carl von Mueller here um, probably found it. And he took gold from it. But he didn't take all the gold from it because there was lots, lots there. He did. Why was he so obsessed with it? This is a man who, when you take up treasure hunting, if you start to read him, he will make you not believe in lost mines. Not believe in the fancy lost treasures, but to... Search for the smaller caches, the more practical caches. But as we're about to when we dive into the Treasure Valley of Secrets, you'll see that this cache is farther from that as you can possibly get. So here we go. <clears throat> so what you are looking at is a PDF copy of a book called The Treasure of the Valley of Secrets. And the author of this book, any of you know anything about Carl von Mueller, you'll know that that is Carl von Mueller's alias that he put on this book. It gives you a history of the Lou treasure. I'm not going to read that all to you. It, and the treasure of the Valley of Secrets by Carl von Mueller is like two books in one. What's well, a book within a book? And that second book is the rarest of books called that many treasure hunters have looked for and is a treasure all its own, called The Scarlet Shadow, a story of the great Colorado conspiracy by one Walter Hurt, key. Now, what this book talks about is the treasure of the valley, valley of surpassing beauty that was lonesome almost if lost from the rest of the world. Anyway, he goes on to describe how great it is, how it's connected to, you know, prospectors show up there because of a legend of a lost gold mine that's connected to Montezuma, and that it, it its riches rival that of Ophir. Did I pronounce that right? And its richness, which is the land where King Solomon got his gold. Anyway, it talks about the valley, where it is get to the point of the story in the rest of the book it tells the tale of a bunch of socialists who move to the valley to use the valley as a headquarters and they want to use the valley as a headquarters which they will take over the United States via some f strange air p some strange flying machines that they got up there or have in there anyway to make a long story short in the rest of the book you can read it in detail. You can see all the other bizarreness from this, from this, the last previous owner trying to crack the the Lou code within the book. Um, so, anyways, what happens to the valley where the socialists have have their headquarters is, 
during the construction and while drilling a tunnel or something, building a village, they set off an explosion. And it was a massive explosion of some chemicals they had up there, and it blew the whole valley to pieces. It blew the lake blew up, the mountainsides collapsed. You can read about it in the book. And when this happened, a cavern was revealed, a cave, which they crawled into. And when they crawled inside the cave, they saw all kinds of hieroglyphics, writings on the wall, artifacts. There was a slab which looked like you were, um, you were sacrificed people. That's what's described as. And I'll read that to you. And, of course, they looked around and there was gold everywhere. And it's all on the last page of the book, The Find. Okay? So I'm going to read it from after the explosion and after they find the cavern. You can read the rest on your own. Show forth had a pocket electric flash lamp, which he always carried, and with the, this aid they proceeded to explore the cavern. They had gone far when they emerged from the passage into a large circular chamber with a lofty dome. The wall was covered with indented hieroglyphics and mythological figures in base relief. Near the center of this room, but slightly to the rear, was a great stone altar, more than four feet high, and with the top area significant... More, more, oh, fuck. more than four feet high, and with the top area sufficient almost for a dancing floor. Upon this surface were dark stains, ages old, bespeaking the bloody ceremonies of pagan worshippers in the... Sub Mont Temple forgotten through forgotten centuries, and the base of the altar was strewn with human bones preserved identically in their particular atmosphere, relics of the ancient Aztec rites. There was a sacrificial stone of of perished priesthood. With a shudder, they passed from the room. With a shudder, they passed from the room into another quarter. Show forth, flashed a pa path of light upon the floor, and what you're looking at is the location of the cave in Carl von Mueller's book, Treasure of the Valley of Secrets. You can see where he's got the, you know, the hands pointing to the little hole. And if you zoom closer, you zoom in on it, you can see the hand pointing to a hole and if you look and if you've ever looked at any of the caves on like say say Victoria Peak for example how they're designed okay they could crack let's go look at that you can see this is the entrance here this is the cave here you can see it a little better if I zoom out here hold on you see when you zoom in you can see there's some kind of crack there like a cave and then this is the top now it's round like that. Okay, hold on. Right here on this map, okay, what you're looking at here is a sketch map done by a treasure hunter who was searching on Victorio Peak and he'd been into the inside Victorio Peak where Doc Noss was and he, you know, he's mapped, mapped it. So let's look at here, look at this, right? One of the caves on Victoria Peak. So it's the entrance to a cave, right? Carved in the stone, same idea. So let's go back to Carl von Mueller here and have a look at the location of his treasure cave. Look at it, what it looks like, how it's designed. And then go back to the caves in, in uh, Victoria Peak, the entrance. Look at that, eh? I would say it's quite possible Carl von Mueller is trying to tell you something. This is in fact the entrance of a treasure cave in the Treasure of the Valley of Secrets, which he found, which he went into. He recovered gold from there, but he was kind of sworn for secrecy his whole life. It's, you now can't go prospecting there now. It's a park or something along those lines. But anyway, see what we're getting at here? There's definitely something in the valley. Now it's time. We'll go back to the book and... So here we are on Google Earth, 
at Carl von Mueller's Treasure of the Valley Secrets final location. Okay, right here, this this the bomb exploded here by the socialists, which blew the mountainside off, which revealed Carl von Mueller's entrance to his treasure cave, which I just showed you the pictures of. Okay, now when you go to Google Earth, you can find that very treasure cave right here on the mountainside. Took me a while, but if you compare the photograph to the tree line, look at the trees, look at the photograph, see if I show you the photograph, see the trees, compare those trees to the trees on Google Earth, the area on Google Earth, and you will be able to find Carl's treasure cave as well, which is right here. Now, what's in there? I don't know. Do I believe he found something there? Yes, I do. Something that made him wealthy, something that he was a big secret, which he took, sat on most of his, I don't know. Some, do I believe he Carl von Mueller actually found something here? Yes, I do, and it made him wealthy. And he found he may have found other loot targets as well. These are just a few of the loot targets that are supposedly out there. All right, so there you go, the treasure of the Valley of Secrets and Carl von Mueller. Hope you enjoy. Out. Oh.